This Arabic pita bread is one of the many kinds of bread that I will be making on this channel. It's used to make sandwiches or to scoop dips, spreads and stews. Any leftover bread can be fried or toasted to be eaten as a snack. They can be kept in resealable bags for two to three days in room temperature and up to three months in the freezer. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Let's start. Lightly dust a work surface with flour. In large bowl, add two and a half cups or 330 grams of whole wheat flour and one teaspoon of sugar. Sift together one cup or 135 grams of cake flour with one teaspoon of salt. In another large bowl, dissolve one teaspoon of yeast in one and one fourth cups of lukewarm water and let it sit in a warm place until the mixture bubbles up or for about five minutes then stir in one tablespoon of olive oil add the dry ingredients gradually to the yeast mixture kneading to combine once a dough forms turn the mixture out onto the prepared work surface and knead until smooth and elastic or for about 10 minutes. If you are using a food processor or a stand mixer, run the machine for one minute, starting at a low speed and gradually increasing it. Dust a large bowl with flour and put the dough inside. Cover with a damp kitchen towel and set aside in warm place until the dough doubles in size or for one to two hours. Punch down the dough, turn it out onto the prepared work surface again and form it into a log. With a sharp knife or a dough cutter, cut the dough into two equal pieces and then cut each half into even quarter to form eight small balls. Preheat the oven to 230 degrees Celsius Using a rolling pin, roll each ball of dough out into a flat circle reaching a thickness of about half a centimeter. Place an upside down baking tray and place a baking sheet over it on the middle setting. Working in batches, place the dough rounds directly on the hot baking tray, leaving space between them to allow them to rise and bake for 3 to 5 minutes. Make sure they don't burn. The bread is ready when a hollow pocket has formed.
Now, let's start with different ideas what you can do with the bread. When the bread cools down, cut it half and fill it with cheese and this mix of spinach which you can find the link in the description down below. Toast it on a pan or put it in the toaster. The next way is to fill it with a mixture of thyme, which you can find the link also in the description down below, and olive oil with your choice of vegetables. I'm using cucumber and tomatoes. The third and final idea is to make chips. Cut three pieces of bread in small triangles and mix it with the following. Two tablespoons olive oil, one teaspoon paprika, one teaspoon oregano, half teaspoon garlic powder, half teaspoon salt. Put it on a tray and bake it in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius until golden brown or about 15 to 20 minutes or fry it in oil and sprinkle a pinch of paprika, oregano, garlic powder and salt again. Serve it with salted cream cheese. I hope you enjoyed and see you next video.